it? Well, it may be you saying this is what I was doing when this happened. Lynn Barry with more on that. Good morning. Good morning to you, Robin. Yeah, we're nearing another moment of silence on September 11th, and it seems 13 years later, uh, it always strikes you to see the grief everyone was experiencing. It was. We, we didn't know exactly what was happening or why it was happening, and if it was. What ones do really stick out in your mind here? Well, you know, you and the names continue to be read right now. Mm -hmm. So many thousands. Lynn, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So a moment of silence. As you've seen so many tech companies think that people want more compact, tiny. Right. What can I fit in my pocket? But of course, lately, I mean, that's just gone. So a 19-year-old college student checked in at Chicago's O'Hare Airport, turned up the intensity, and evened up that playoff series with the Pacers last night. Brian McFadden up early this morning after being up late last night with your Bleacher Report. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Yeah, I was up pretty late watching this game. Thank you so much, Brian. So watch this next video. Yeah. So great to have you this Thank morning. You. It's I great know to you be here. Are, perhaps be a little bit more concerned in November come midterms. Yes, I would say a lot of these, it's not so much that they're moderate well, Republicans. Do you see this meaning that there's more of a possibility that that happens come November? I would say there hmm. uh, last night before they knew exactly who they were going to be up against. Interesting. And that Georgia runoff that you're talking about coming up in July. So it'll yes. be interesting to see how that plays out. Patricia, uh -huh. thank you. I know Hi. you were up late last thank night. You. So great to oh, see you this morning. Some I'm good sure insight. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Thanks. So we're talking about that dangerous beef recall, and you yeah. had mentioned especially dangerous strain of E. coli. I mean, you hear about these kinds of recalls. Up in the Bleach Report. Good morning. What's Good this morning, Lynn. Yeah, the group. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just sitting there and looking pretty. All right, <laughs> Brian, thanks so much. So a school, a great twist, and what else cops are saying is strange. Good morning. Strange is an understatement, and also strange you find out that your missing son is found alive. It was really hours before the police answers. Do we know, is, is the boy okay? Because, I mean, okay, where has he been for mm -hmm. two weeks nearly? Um, police he had food. He is okay, he had food. Um, question, uh, I wondered. It is. Okay, we'll update you as those updates come in. Okay, Lynn, thank you. <laughs> you know, men behaving badly in this case, Shia LaBeouf. Uh, good morning to Lynn, you, Robin. Good morning. good morning to all of you at home. So we have learned police released him this morning, but we've not heard from him quite yet. We are hearing from a lot of people, especially the witnesses that you just played. A Broadway composer who is That's coming out today, though, Mark Wahlberg, replaced mm -hmm. him. Um, so he, in 2007, he was arrested at a Walgreens. He refused to leave the store. Uh, he was blasted. I've always wondered, are those dresses lined? Please, God, let them be lined. <laughs> I do know that they are not able to sit down. We have been told. So we're going to be doing the interview standing up. Okay. Because, you know, removing that just ain't going to be easy. Girled into something much uh, greater for you. It was a reality show called My Big Fat Fabulous Life that mm -hmm. premiered on TLC to huge numbers, but also propelling her No Body Shame campaign. So, Whitney, first of all, welcome back. Good to have you. Thanks. It's great to be back. This life that premiered on TLC mm -hmm. was over a million viewers. Yeah, it was. Clearly, there was interest in this. So how did you take a campaign that was about having no body shame, being mm -hmm. proud of what you are, no matter what size, into this? Well, you know, it was a really big accident. All of this has been an accident. Parents, um, I'm 30 years old, so I think there's a lot of relatable material here as I um, find self-love and acceptance, explore my future, and try to get out of my parents' uh, house. And maybe some <laughs> people wondering how you can, f you find that shame, and that's what people are really connected to. I want to play a clip from My Big Fat Fabulous Life, Tuesday nights on TLC. Take a look. When we had our interview, people responded on my Twitter account, and yours mm -hmm. as well, saying there's no way this can be a medical right. situation. So tell us sort of a little bit about how you explained that. Right. Well, polycystic ovarian syndrome is a grouping of symptoms. So it's really varied from one person to another. And I why I initially gained 100 pounds. And the interesting thing is that um, f being fat is surrounded with such a spin up a conversation about obesity. A more or not on your accounts, you've been seeing a lot of negative. And you're like, I have to search for the negative yeah. comments. But some of them are out there and they're really upsetting. You know, one Facebook post about your anything. Uh -huh. I want to just give you the opportunity to sort of look <laughs> to in the talk camera to Brandy. <laughs> and talk to Brandy, talk to anybody else okay. that may have an opinion out there. Right. Um, that's funny. I knew people would say that every time we were um, filming while we were shooting, I was. Oh, you know what fat people are allowed to eat too? People to see all the comments like she's promoting obesity or um, she just wants to stay fat forever. I can support you on that <laughs> one too. You know, I, most importantly, your no shame campaign has started that conversation and has been supportive to so many women. So we appreciate yeah. you coming back on well, the show. Well, thank you. And we love your bizarre story. I want to call it in this morning's Bleacher Report. You see the pictures and it's frightening. I mean, this yeah. must have been pretty serious. Yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy, Linda. 
PGA Tour pro Robert Allenby. He mm -hmm. missed the cut at the Sony Open in Hawaii on Friday, and, and that's a bad. Look at this selfie they all see. You can go half seas. Well, I, I know exactly. Hey, I'll take you up on Next that. I have, a, I have a feeling that number is going to go through the roof. I think so, if too. You can have Especially it gets a need. Yes, now. The, and basically, she was brainwashed. Yes, she was young. She was 15 years old and really the sister and then authorities. And that's how they even detected this. It brings to mind so many different stories. Um, mm -hmm. Not enough where we have people coming back home. And when you mentioned this, couldn't you imagine if you were a family member of a missing child? It gives you hope. Right? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Happening now, a huge wildfire. Barry has more now. Um, minutes ago, we spoke with Elizabeth Smart, who shared her own kidnapping experience, because I think yeah. a lot of people wonder, what do you go through in your brain now to try to go back to normal. Exactly. I literally just finished my interview with Elizabeth Smart and she talked Damn. to you. It's brainwashed because she doesn't know her situation, but talked about how different it is. People talk with her to get some insight into what someone must go through. Mm. But I do hope that this story gives some hope to families who are mm. missing people right now. Happening now, a huge wild. See you. You too. You know, I love the idea of this because everybody tries to avoid her the whole idea here is embrace it is that right yeah so i think every woman that send button and it goes to the entire web all your listeners what was your feeling and pounds you look phenomenal you're beautiful regardless but it, it must feel really to see yourself and be able to say look at me i worked hard i did this and here's here's myself in a swimsuit yeah you know i really went for a take that same point of view because a lot of women, as you say, no matter what size you are, but what do you say? Big surprise. So the family is with us in studio. We're going to be talking to them uh, in just a couple of minutes. Yeah, she's quite the beauty over there. She's got her sequins on and she looks fantastic. So I'm excited to meet them. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also combining a story that everybody's talking about. Yeah, it. it's unique. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, this is very unique too. And I, I know that you've seen this video about the single mom who won $66 million dollars in this, this mega millions jackpot. Yep. And she bought her ticket on what some people consider the unluckiest day of Villa. Now I'm Lynn Berry. And apparently, Christy, we were the only ones that were not watching Sharknado 2. Go no, figure. <laughs> it's the TV movie everybody is talking about. Still making waves online. Basically took about a potential Sharknado 3. If anybody knows, it would be the director, right? <laughs> true. So and we're going to get that scoop. We'll start with you. You know, there is a reward out there $175,000 that would lead to the arrest of this guy we should grid for a long time I mean what's the strategy here in finding him Vincent well he could be anywhere you know he'll see murder charges along the way yeah because you know Vincent what struck me so much is when a relative said he does not miss he is right. a skilled shooter and he does not miss let's talk about how dangerous this guy really is well, that's keeping an eye out for them. Stay safe um, as well. And as Vincent said, contact authorities do not approach this man. Vincent Hill, Joey Jackson, great to have you. Thanks for being with me. Pleasure, Lynn. And you know, something else we're going to keep an eye on for you this afternoon. And the reply. Good morning. Hi, good morning to you, Robin. Yeah, it's not only the arrest of Jared Wilson, which there's still a grand jury to determine whether there will be any charges, but they want Ferguson's even bigger. So the Rams and the Cardinals are playing this weekend. And also, you know, if you're a big sports fan, Cardinals could be in the World Series and protest. Now, we know that... Um there is a grand jury, mm -hmm. but it has until January to decide if um, something should be charged against Officer Darren Wilson. Mm -hmm. What did the county council say last night? Yeah, and actually that was part of what... I, that's what I would do. Well, how long Where there's no, there? like, visual proof. <laughs> yeah. How long are they? They, like, maybe five, you can take, minutes long? Well, yeah, three, five. You can Perfect. take a class on the app, or you can take um, just one song. Lord help me, I can't even get to that first song. Oh, forget about <laughs> Beginner. It. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, well, good morning. Hey, good morning to you guys. Let me show you a story today travel wise it's all the officer darren wilson and lynn is joining us good morning hi good morning to you robin yeah not only do they want wilson prosecuted but they want the ferguson police chief the county police chief and the county prosecutor to all resign so you saw the jury to conduct their investigation which was extended as you reported to january from september so how did council handle that last night well they tried to respond they were often shouted down um but they did say this they said this is your government and the games uh that's yeah. something to be seen we don't know whether or not that would be the case. We don't have a certain number of how many people there are associated with it, but that's their claim. But still people are upset that the grand jury is going to be allowed to take a long time to decide what it's going to do about Officer Wilson if any charges will come. Lynn, thank you. Good morning to you, Robin. <laughs> yeah, these allegations of hazing and bullying, and we don't know really specific incidents and details, but the different teams are, are going to wonder.
wonder, oh my gosh, at, at the same school, do the accusations go beyond the football team? Exactly. I mean, you right? have how many different teams going on? Some kids on different teams, different sports, mm -hmm. but the same kids. Yeah, and you know, keep in mind, New Jersey has anti-bullying laws. And I set a precedent that this will not be tolerated. Yeah. All right. So what are your thoughts about it? You can tweet Lynn. What was your? At uh, TV. Thank you. Or you can <laughs> tweet Robin Mead, at Robin Mead, or do the Facebook thing for the show as well. So that we can of what was said when. Good morning. Good morning to you. Yeah, two <laughs> sides to every story, right? The pilot not laughing about this supposed joke, ordering everybody off the plane so he could take a sobriety. Time. Well, she. I mean, because that would seem wrong. <laughs> exactly. Whatever they want. That's an interesting point, isn't it? Fascinating story. All right, thank you so much. And by the way, the pilot took a sobriety test and was he like. He passed the test. He was not. Yeah. But put himself through that. That's fascinating. All right. Hugh, thank you. Hugh. Oh, I would love to hear from the crew <laughs> what, what they thought would escalate. Interesting. I think they'll be tight-lipped about this one <laughs> for PR purposes. <laughs> Lynn, thank you so much. Appreciate it. For a new iPhone, are you kind of filled with the gills with it? Going, no, I kind of like my current one. Makes you wonder because Apple, for the first time, is reporting that its sales are sinking for the first time ever. I mean, in years. Don't listen to me. Listen to what money expert Jen says. Yeah, I mean, they had a 13. They got a long road before, I mean. Okay. There's a lot of obstacles to do that. Okay, thank you. You know, planes got pelted with large hail yesterday. Lisa, it's gonna bring you some of that tape. They were at the, is it Time 100, meaning the 100 most influential yes, people? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, see, I say gala. I was asking Jim right before this, is it gala, is it gala? How do people say that word? I think it's either. It's either one. Okay, so Melania was celebrating her been loving someone again yeah. after that. But I mean, Beyonce hasn't come out and said anything yet, so. Right. We don't she really know. She said it in her music. Oh. Well, on the other hand, though, did she write those songs or is it just, I'm going to make a heartbreak album, you know? Or did this really not happen to her and you're writing it for well, other we're people? We're still talking about it, so it's working. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So, right. And maybe we've all bought enough. Half of smartphones in the United States are iPhone morale. No. That, isn't that fascinating? Okay, then. And there are some people who say... Could you be doing it to make sure that other people who have pieces of the company have less power? Ooh. Because it waters it down. It corporate entry. Oh. Oh. Dun, dun. All right. <laughs> so did Prince have a will? His sister says no. Now, how they were at a gala, the Time yes. 100 gala. Good yes. morning. And she stunned at this gala with the gown that she wore. Good morning. Searchers on Saturday Night. Oh, Remember, yeah. she would play yeah, Beyonce yeah, and right. all those things, and she's You're really right. good. Yeah, yeah, I guess I've forgotten all about those <laughs> wonderful performances. Go, my Rudolph. Yeah, but it would feel like something feels yeah. different, Jen says. Good morning. Yeah, so good morning, everybody, both of you. If you've got a Spotify account, go uh -oh. and check. You already know the story. Do you have a... All right, hold on. <laughs> Story. Your most meaningful piece of jewelry for many women is your wedding ring. And yet many of they have an extended service plan. And if you buy it, you have to bring your ring back in every six months. And then they may say to you, oh, please leave it. There's a stone loose or please leave it. So you may end up getting repairs that you don't even necessarily think you need. And then your stone is gone. Thanks. Wow. So they're investigating steroid shot that could be used um, that could be the source of the outbreak. CNN, CNN senior medical correspondent Elizabeth Cohen is joining us. So if you've never heard of an epidural shot for pain, a lot of people who have back pain will get these shots at the base of their spine and it, it, it sends that, that medicine up their spine to where the problem is. Problem is that goes directly to your brain if there is a problem. Yes. Right. The problem is that's your central nervous system, and so in this. So these. This well, they weren't necessarily infected just yesterday. It was. It was probably discovered or a from one of these steroid shots. If it ends up being that that is the problem, how long would they know before? Oh, I do have this. It, it really doesn't take all that long. I mean, they're saying sort of if you had a shot, inspected the facility this week, and what they found was a vial with a solution in it and it had fungus in it. It's tell us that there are more of these cases and here's the reason why. Again, there are people who got these shots and they got a little, and you've got even a headache, even some nausea, go to your doctor and say, wow, I had that shot because the sooner you attack this disease, the better. Um, signs that almost kind of mimic a small stroke at times, right. fever and chills, did I right. hit all the symptoms? Nausea and some people have trouble walking. So for some people it almost seems- Thank you so much, yes. appreciate it. They're not. Hello, Andy. <laughs> Good morning, Rob. Yeah, the Patriots and Jets renewing their AFC. For the gone girl voice. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Haven't seen right. that yet. I heard it's good. <laughs> I don't know what that gone girl voice is. <laughs> All right, a man. CDC director there taking some heat. But the questions that they were asking, are they, they're questions that so many of us have. You know, is the CDC 
in a better hearing that they're still being reposted and it shows her doctor wishing her well as they're getting ready to transfer her that's right uh, to bethesda the doctor i don't know actually, if we have that video in west africa to the united states he, um it, it's it's a very con controversial issue yeah, that was a majority much more to talk about and we shall appreciate All right, it we're back so the man convicted who um too has had a chance to look at some of those uh, statements that were made in that so did we learn something out of there um other than the fact of what that guy just said, we don't know. <laughs> yeah, D Dr. Tom Frieden had a tough day yesterday. Yeah. I mean, you had to feel a little bit badly for him. Uh, certainly, like someone comes in with a fever, getting the travel history. We're, we're, that's, a protocol would have said, hey, you ask for travel history, you make sure that's uh, move both of their patients out to, to other centers, one here to Emory, one to the NIH. The question I asked them, Robin, was fast, uh, know yeah. how to throw the stuff away. Don't let somebody get on a commercial aircraft who's just had to <laughs> <look> very studious. <laughs> And they're real. They're, they're not just a prop. They, they, <laughs> right. I could understand if they were, though, because they look so good. Yeah, <laughs> Got to make something work on a Friday, right? Hey, thank you. Appreciate it. You got it. So the